Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be doing a mod review on two little mods, but even though they're like little mini mods, I think they really can change your gameplay and I'm really excited to show these to you guys. I actually have quite a few mod videos that will be coming in the next couple of weeks. And of course, these mods are from Ravishing. If you're not new to my channel, you've seen me do quite a few videos. I love Ravishing's mods. They're all just kind of just, they just help your game out a little bit. They're so simple, but so quality. It just changes the game for you. So the first one we're doing is the Ink for Yourself Memory Keeper. So it's just a little tiny mini mod. And the description says, this spiral notebook holds personalized entries. It can be used as a diary, journal, wedding guest book, or any way your heart desires. Click on the notebook to create a new entry where you can customize its icon, moodle it, and view at any time. You can also choose a sim as the author for both the notebook and individual entries. Best of all, it can be passed on to keep new generations alive. So yeah, I've been using this before I decided to make a video. I wanted to test it out in my private just kind of personal save file and this is just kind of what it looks like so it's just a nice little journal and you can use it for literally anything at the moment i'm kind of using it as a sort of i guess like a diary maybe type thing for my family i have a couple who has a new baby so they've been adding entries into that just kind of like talking about that so as you can see just a little bit of things here we're going to go ahead and go into game right after i show you the next one so you'll be able to see how it all works and everything and yeah so this works for children and up which is really really cool so the next mod that I want to show you is the Paint of Heart Functional Paper Sketch Pad. So this is literally just that digital sketch pad, except it's in a little sketchbook form. And I just like that better because it's just, I feel like it looks cuter. I'm not a whole fan of like how electronics actually look. And this is base game compatible, which is really cool. Another thing that I like about it is that you can, I mean, obviously do it on the go, same as the sketch pad, but there's no crafting cost on this one because it's just a notebook. So I think that's really, really exciting. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pop into game and check out these mods. So this is just my personal household that I've been playing off camera. And so you're going to find both of these things just right into your build mode. I always go to just show all and filter to the custom content like this. Ooh, there's CC I didn't know about in here. Look at this peach bed. Oh my gosh, I just downloaded this stuff. I haven't even gotten to play with it yet. That looks so cute. Okay, anyways, let's see, let's see. Okay, so here is that sketch pad by Ravishing that I was showing you. So it has four different swatches. I'll go ahead and actually just lay these out for you. So there's this swatch with like a little paintbrush on it. There's this one. I don't even know what that is. We can do a little zoom in after we lay these out. Ooh, and like a little paint splatter one. That one's really cute. Okay, so those are the swatches on those. Just really simple. I like the fourth one, the little yellow on it. That's really cute, actually. I really like that. So then all you do with this one is you can go ahead. When you click on it, you can add it to your inventory. You can do the figure painting that came with Discovery University, I believe. And then you have the little pro paint. I don't know if it's always says pro paint or if that's just because i have the plum fruit mod added into my game but you can just go on here and you can do as far as i know only classic paintings actually unless my sim doesn't have any painting skills so that might make a difference i'm not sure we'll go ahead and have him do a little sketch on here so it still has like the little kind of animation as the sketch pad but it really does look like he's actually doing it just because the stylus looks like a pen so i think it looks really cute like it's a pretty realistic animation i feel like and it doesn't bother me at all and i personally just like the look better than the actual tablet so i do have like the plum the plum fruit technology mod going in but basically you'd be looking at an object like this to sketch on versus the actual sketchbook so if you just want a little bit more of a rustic look i just really like how that one looks and then moving on to the little memory book which is super super cute it looks like this one it comes in a bunch of swatches again i guess i'll go ahead and just lay these out it looks like a lot of repeats of the actual original notebook that the teens get from parenthood i believe yeah i know this swatch specifically is definitely one of those so again this is for children and up so you can use this for anything like it says you can use it as like a wedding guest book so whatever you want to write really so these are the swatches 
swatches. I really like that there's a couple of plain ones in. I would love to see more swatches, but either way, it's really good. So then how this works, for example, they just had a child. I guess I can actually show you because I have one right here sitting on the desk. So I have it named as the post family memories. Post is their last name. And then when you go in here, you can edit them and then you can create an entry. So for their book, it opens up into their inventory. And so I have this one from the mother that says, I can't wait to meet my baby. Just finished the nursery. Third trimester, here I come. And then we have one that the dad had put in that said that she was born. So it's kind of like the memory keeper from Sims 3, except you're making the memories. So I guess I'll go ahead and show you. So you can edit this. You can go ahead and say the author. So we'll say, you know, I want him to be the author of this. So when you hover over it, it has his little name right there as you can see and then you can also go to details and enter the name here so i can say like augustus and then i'll say like we'll just say it's his diary so now when you cover over it you can see it says his name it shows that also he's the author and then it shows that he has the diary and then when you go to create an entry you get to pick a little emote here to just kind of symbolize it so Let's see, like here with the ring, he can go ahead and say, okay, like this is him writing. So we'll put his name there. And then the description for the memory would be, since we chose the ring emote, let's just say that um, Augustus. So you could write it from either way. My personal one, as you just saw, I kind of wrote from a personal diary perspective. But if you want to stay true to, say, the Sims 3 memory system, and that's what you're using this for, you could then say from a third person perspective. So we'll say like, Augustus proposed to Julia. And then you're gonna let that play. He's writing down, you can see right there. And then now when you go ahead and click open on this, it pops up in the inventory and you can hover over that. As you can see, he proposed to Julia. And then he can actually read that. You can have the little pop up like this. And then you can also edit it. So yeah, those are just two really little mini mods that I just feel like really made me enjoy my gameplay a little bit more. I've been playing with this all day and I really, really like it. It's so much fun. And I just, I really love creating these memories. I think it's so cute and it's just a lot of fun and you can do it with the children, teens. You can have them just like have a little diary talking about stuff. I don't know. I just love it. And of course you can go ahead and leave this in your house. You can add this to your inventory and then keep them forever as just a little family generational thing it'll be so full of memories oh my gosh that would just be so cute perfect for legacies so yeah i'll leave all of these mods linked down below if you like this video go ahead and leave me a like comment and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video bye guys